hello guys and welcome back again to my youtube channel it's your girl ify and i am back again with another video if this is your first time here welcome subscribe if you've not subscribed check out my other videos guys if you've not watched any of my videos check out my other videos believe me you are going to love it okay because it's nice you're going to love it so i came across this tweet by a nigerian feminist according to her she's of opinion that men should worth at least 35 million naira at the age of 35 that any man that is not worth at least 35 million naira at the age of 35 is useless and is not what uh what being called a man so that was the opinion of the girl that's the opinion of the girl you gotta get up you gotta get up and make a move so i decided to bring it here okay so that we can talk about it so we can have a conversation about this so when i saw that thing i was like these people are always giving men they are always giving men a standard the fact it was coming from a feminist is even shameful a nigerian feminist is very very shameful because this is why i said that i don't actually rate nigerian feminists sorry to nigerian feminists okay but just that this is my opinion majority of them eh they are feminists until when it comes to being practical with your feminism then you see them okay you are a man you are supposed to do this one i am my woman i'm not supposed to spend my money you're supposed to be spending your money on me you're supposed to be taking um care of my bills you're supposed to be paying my bills you're supposed to be doing so this is why i don't even i don't actually like their own feminism i don't like it okay so a feminist came on twitter to say that a man a 35 year old man should worth at least 35 million for the person to be worthy to be called a man how about the woman or does this apply to only men how about the women you all are feminists okay you are all about equal um equal rights equal opportunity equal whatever are you not equal to a man you said you are equal to a man so at that five years are you worth that five million are you worth that five million how many women are worth that five million at five at that five years so they'll just come on twitter and be giving men standard yet they claim they are feminists so a man is not worthy to be called a man because the person is not worth 35 million naira at the age of 35 that is a very lame opinion that is very lame the opinion is very very lame and to think that the person was referring to nigerian men is even more laughable because we all know how hard the uh, the country nigeria is we all know how hard it is to make it in nigeria we all know how difficult things are in nigeria if you are not from a rich home if you're not from a wealthy background if you're not from a very rich home or if you don't have connection how are you going to worth 35 million naira in 35 years only few people make it few people that are based in nigeria make it even the few people that are based in nigeria that is worth 35 million naira at the age of 35 they are just few and it's luck it is not because they work harder than other people it's not because they think faster than other people or they are more brilliant than other people it's luck believe me a lot of these men work so hard they work so like if you see how hard nigerians nigerian men work they work so 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 hard so you cannot come out come and tell someone that the person is is not worthy to be called a man because the person is not worth 35 million naira at the age of 35 35 million naira is a lot of money to a lot of nigerians out there it is not easy to come by so and i don't know why that that is applied to men only how about women don't you have your hands don't have your brain or can't you work so you cannot work 35 million at the age of 35 as a woman yet you want a man to work 35 million era at the age of 35 and yes you are a feminist make it make sense how does it make sense so this is the issue i have with them and see my sister if you are waiting for a man that is based in nigeria to be worth 35 million naira at the age of 35 before you get yourself involved with the person 
you are just wasting your time okay you better stop with that mentality stop with that mentality it does not work that way things does not work like that nigeria is hard enough that you are expecting a man to be worth that five million naira otherwise the person will be a useless man the person will know what to be called a man anyway everybody chat to their own choices but i'm just saying if you're waiting for a man like if you have that mindset that all men all nigerian men that is 35 years must worth uh, 35 million before they will be called a man then you need to stop you need to stop thinking like that you need to stop that kind of that line of thought stop it okay things are hard already things are hard in nigeria even people that has been working since they are 20 years let's assume you are 20 years old in nigeria and you graduated from school at 20 you got a job immediately which is almost impossible and you got a job immediately and you started working from 20 years to 35 years where you go see 35 million where you go see them how much do they pay civil servants in nigeria only politicians or those people that steal or people that do illegal stuff those are the people that or people that uh, inherited from their parents people that have rich and wealthy parents those are the people that are worth that kind of money at the age of 35 in nigeria the others the few other people that got it are just the lucky ones and that doesn't mean they work harder than people that that are not worth 35 million at the age of 35 it's just luck so all this standard we are setting for men we need to tone it down i beg tone it down they are also human beings tone that standard down i beg we need to tone it down no go they pressure your brother or your sibling or they pressure your boyfriend or as far as the person is working hard it's enough the person is working hard and working smart not just working hard because some people are working hard but they don't work smart or some people are working smart and working hard so the two go together when you when the person is working hard and working smart no need of you to ask the person uh, no need of you insisting that the person was worth um 35 million era at the age of 35 because you know that the person is putting in his best okay so let's just stop the standard those standards we set for men we must stop it okay let people be so guys i just gave you guys my own opinion okay i don't really agree with the girl that's the summary of everything so i don't know if well, um, about you guys what do you guys think do you agree with the girl do you agree that men nigerian based men must watch 35 million at the age of 35 before they will even think of getting married or before they will be worthy to be called a man what do you guys think tell me what you think in the comment section let's get the conversation going okay thank you guys so much and subscribe to my youtube channel okay i have other amazing contents on this channel go and check them out okay thank you guys so much and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye